Hey beautiful Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for being here. Aquarius, we are going to be looking into the cards, what intuitive messages you may need to know and may need to be aware of at this time. This may or may not resonate for you as this is a general reading. Hopefully there's something here that you guys can take away. For cross watchers, the roles may be vice versa. Kindly take the messages, how they resonate for you and your given situation. Thank you so much and let's begin. What do we have for my beautiful Aquarius? What do they need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, so starting this reading with the High Priest or the Harfant, Two of Cups, wow. We have the High Priestess. The Page of Swords. Wow, this is a very beautiful message. So there's a deepening of the bond that you share with your person, your soulmate, your girlfriend, boyfriend. This could also be new energies entering old relationships. So you may have already been married with this person, but at this time, there's like a mysterious deepening of the bond or deepening of conversations with your person. Um, you feel like you have your own special world here where it's just the two of you really getting getting each other, understanding each other. And, and you know that what you both have is, is truly special, okay? I do want to say the floodgates have been opened. If in the past, similarly, communication may have been difficult, it feels like this time around here, the floodgates have been opened and there's like effortless communication with you and your person. And the reason why I'm saying mysterious, okay, because the high priestess is here and I'm wondering if the level of your conversations is not the usual, right? You both could be sharing about not just your feelings or not just about your perspective on certain things, but this could be about spirituality here, Aquarius, deeper stuff, okay, that is not normally um, being discussed by couples. So Page of Swords, I, I feel like the reason why you both are also attracted to each other is because of your minds. There's somebody here that opens your mind to new ideas and vice versa here, Aquarius. You also give them a different perspective on things, and this could be one of the things that they like the most about you, okay? I'm wondering if you're dealing with a Taurus or, or an air sign. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? We're going to be pulling more cards. Uh, but this is beautiful. The High Priest, if you are just recently, um, recently seeing this person, I do want to say that there might be higher commitment here or taking things to the next level, however that looks like for you. I do want to say with High Priestess, you both are quite low-key or not really the type to, to reveal your relationship out in the public just yet. And I'm wondering if this is because you don't want others to know, right? You don't want others to know. And this could be wanting to protect the connection, wanting to preserve the beauty of, of this privacy, okay? Like you could be saying, I don't need to, to reveal this online and social media or to the world just to make you feel that, that you mean so much to me. I feel like when it comes to you here, Aquarius, or when it comes to them, you're very private about this relationship, okay? You w don't want to tell others yet, or, or you both may be keeping this for now, uh, and you might feel like there's forces at play in your environment outside this relationship. And I'm wondering now if this may be like a case of Romeo and Juliet here, Aquarius, where you both are... If, if this is just a new connection, okay? I'm, I'm talking to Aquarius who have just recently started seeing this person or in a relationship with this person, right? I'm wondering if there's a flux in your environment or people surrounding you both, either on your end or on their end. And it's like you both are being guided to keep this to yourselves for now because some people may not be to be trusted, okay? There might be others that may be against this as well. I may not know your specific situation. But I'm getting hush-hush with Page of Swords. Communication may also be mostly online for some of you. But I'm wondering if this goes against the approval of many with high priests. This isn't somebody that, that your friends or family uh, expect, okay, or, or their end. I'm wondering if this goes against the grain, okay? Let's see. At the end of the day, you know, what matters is how you feel for each other. What matters at the end of the day is that this relationship is not hurting anyone. Um, it's just that because you might not be ready for what others have to say for now, you both may just be in this building the foundation or getting to know each other face. But you do both have something very special. We have the Wheel of Fortune. 
So the Wheel of Fortune here means that it's like there's a fear, there's a fear of history repeating itself here, Aquarius, and I'm wondering if, if in the past some of you may have been, um, may have experienced a, a relationship that led to a sense of falling out or demise because you let other people's opinion or, or pressures of the external world get to the relationship. And I'm seeing that you, you are very protective of this person now. And the Wheel of Fortune also speaks about destiny, right? It's a fate card or karma card. And I'm wondering if you both feel very destined to be together, but events happening outside of you are beyond your control, okay? Let's see. We have the Three of Cups energy. Yes, I do want to say that eventually friends and loved ones will come to accept this relationship, but it's like the timing with the Wheel of Fortune some of you could be waiting for the right time, um, and you know that you know that it, it feels like you Aquarius are aware, right? That it's not going to be just easy to let it out in the public for some reason. Um, you may also be trying to not hurt somebody by by revealing this news, by revealing this message. We have the King of Cups, and this could be a water sign. Some of you are connecting with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, so with the King of Cups, I'm wondering if this is somebody that you don't want to them, them to know yet. I'm wondering if this is somebody older, like perhaps a boss or parent. All right, I'm wondering if this may be love that has been found in the workplace because the high priest can also indicate institution, um, group situation. I'm wondering if you know somebody is going to completely say something against this, okay? Let's see. King of Cups, or if this is not the case here, Aquarius, might be that you're careful of gossip. You know, you don't want this to be tainted, this relationship. You don't want for others to judge your person, and likewise, they don't want others to judge your relationship. And the Page of Swords, keep in mind, I do want to say that this is your energy now, because Page of Swords is, it, it, all the uh, court cards in the Sword family are quite fighters, right? Um, they are fighting for the name of love. And I do want to say with Page of Swords here, how you're coming across is that you're, you can be quite aggressive, especially when, when somebody poses as a threat to somebody that you love or something that you love here. Yes, you can be very diplomatic, but if you sense someone is being unreasonable or being hateful for no reason about your relationship or that they may have some hidden intention to sort of break you both apart. Again, I'm getting Romeo and Juliet kind of energy here. It's like you are going to be fighting in the name of love, okay? Now, if this is already going on for some of you, like there's a controversy and it's affecting you and your person, I do want to say that somebody here is very prone to steer controversy with their words. And whoever this is, they might be somebody outside looking in. Th this, this person does not have all the facts, all the information, and yet I'm wondering if this could be false information being spread around or rumors, gossip, um, and, and three of cups means that, that, you know, you thought this person was a friend, but now you feel like you can't trust them, okay? That's why you could be keeping some things to yourself or concealing something because you know that this may happen. Somebody is fear prone to, to starting controversy, okay, with their words. But do not let the opinion of other people affect you and your person, Aquarius. Um, we're humans after all, oftentimes comments of others, what they say affects us, but I, I do feel like you both are stronger. You both have been tested. You may have went through a challenging time dealing with a gossiper or somebody that, that spreads false information. At the end of the day, they're just outsiders looking in, okay? Page of Swords. And I'm wondering if this could be online as well. Um, people's comments, people throwing what they think they know about you and this person. And with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands energy is to focus on, on each other, focus on your goals, focus on spreading positive energy around you, okay? Sometimes relationships can be tested in the initial stage. And once you both overcome, or each and every time you overcome hurdles, the stronger this connection gets. I do want to say that this relationship, if it's definitely new, right, the foundation can be tested here. And I'm wondering if, if you are telling this person to not believe any false rumors or, or whatever they're saying to not be affected by this. 
Now, this may be a completely different message, which, again, it may not be for all Aquarius, but I'm getting somebody could be jealous from a distance. And I'm wondering if, if this may be an ex or ex person or somebody who just admires you, but then uh, this, this became quite twisted for them because you are involved with somebody else and, and they're the one who could be feeling bitter, uh, who could be secretly saying things against the relationship. And, and so protect it at all costs, High Priest and the Two of Cups. Somebody could be sending some kind of negative energy out. This may not be for all. And I'm seeing that this is somebody from a distance, like an outsider, okay? And they could be giving, you know, or, or seeing some information about you guys online or through friends, whatever the case may be. But I do want to say with Wheel of Fortune, to be careful whoever this is because, right, Wheel of Fortune means what comes up goes down. Forces are always in motion. This means also karma. It's a karma card, okay? The energy that somebody puts out there is the energy that they're also going to receive. Or this may be the golden rule. Don't do unto others what you don't want to be done unto you, okay? Very interesting. Because we all go through seasons. And this person may feel like right now, the, their actions don't come with consequences, but they do. Okay? They do. Let's see. What else do we have for my beautiful Aquarius? So we have the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups energy. So what did I say about Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> Knight of Cups is the Romeo in the deck. And you have somebody here who you know is very romantic, loving. They're very tuned in with their emotions, with their feelings. They're also a very attractive person, charming, okay? But they're also the sensitive one here, Aquarius. And I'm wondering if you could be the fighter, all right? Not saying physically a fighter, but, but spiritually, you're very strong. Um, it's like you have this, this armor, and, and somebody's words do not affect you as much, but whoever you're dealing with, they can be quite sensitive. And, and so this may be about, you know, just trying to gauge how this person is going to respond. Um, and Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is about give and take, reciprocity, okay? This may also be putting equal efforts into the relationship. So there's definitely a sense of give and take here. You both really complement each other very, very well, okay? Let's see. We have the two of pentacles. So what did I say about something just having a natural flow? And that's the two of pentacles, balance. I do want to say that you both are still adapting to whatever is happening here. Um, and to not be, do not pay attention too much on, on the naysayers, the noise in the environment, Otherwise, if we get too caught up, you know, paying attention to these people that are commenting, gossiping, we may fail to realize what the real priority is, which is one another, the relationship, okay? This is knowing one's priorities. Or for some of you, you could be also coming across as, I don't care anymore what this person thinks. All right? This is my, my connection, my relationship. Somebody does not have the right to say these things, Okay? And you feel like you got this. You and your person have this with Two of Pentacles. It's a very solid connection, solid relationship, okay? It's not one to just easily crumble, although it, it, it is being tested, but it's not the type to easily crumble with the words and, and whatever this person, outside people are doing, okay? What else do we have for my beautiful Pisces at this time, please? We have the Six of Wands energy. So, so you may be wondering, why, why am I the topic of this? Why is my relationship all of a sudden the conversation uh, or, or people's, people's attention is being given too much in my relationship? And the Six of Wands, I'm wondering if both of you are very popular, and this could be why it's quite controversial here, Aquarius. This may not be for all, okay? Six of Wands here. This comes with some kind of fame, popularity, celebrity status. But this can also mean victory, positive news for you both, okay? Or that the more people and people the more people see you both outside in the public, the more all right, this kinds of, of things can happen. But life is also a balance of the good and the bad, right? It's about going with the flow, and that's the two of pentacles. Let's see, what else do we have for my beautiful Aquarius? We have Ace of Pentacles. 
So I keep getting focused. Focus on your goals. Focus on what matters, on who matters at the end of the day. Leave them out in the cold as well, wondering, uh, gossiping if they want. Because at the end of the day, it's not their, their complete business. You know what I mean? Um, this is your business with your person. And it's interesting, we have pentacles here, and that's why I said business. So it's nobody else's business but you and your person. Um, I do want to say you feel very inspired with this, with this new beginning of a new relationship. It's like you effortlessly just blend very well. And I do want to say that whoever this person is, they may feel a little bit left behind or left out in the cold somewhat. Or they may even be feeling rejected. Even if they're no longer in your life, somebody on the outside feels like they've been rejected or you may have not reciprocated their feelings in the past. And I'm sensing they're doing this because they want to somehow get back or, or elevate how they feel. It might be stemming from pride or ego. Somebody's ego has been hurt or bruised here, Aquarius. Like, I don't want to show I'm weak. I don't want to show I, I, I lost something lost here with this person it almost feels like you're even challenging you or the person that you're with at this time let's see it's a very interesting message we have seven of pentacles so seven of pentacles you and this new person have a great chance of you know i'm, I'm saying stability here and, and something long term this relationship can definitely go long term okay it's about not giving up it's also if there's frustration, it can get very frustrating what you're, you both are going through. But this message is also about reaping what was sown. And I'm wondering if, if you are saying to your person, you know, let's just focus on, on each other and, and doing our best or being the best version of ourselves. And pay no mind on the outsiders, the naysayers. Um, they reap what they sow, okay? That's what I'm saying. So bottom of the deck is the queen of wands. Wow, I did not quite expect to see that energy. And I'm really wondering if this may be somebody that you used to date who's doing this now. Somebody may be, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to appear like they lost something. And, and this may be their pride, okay? And they're starting argument or drama. Um, I do feel like they don't want to yield. Somebody here is riled to anger uh, and they're becoming quite erratic. This may be a mother-mother figure. I don't know, for some reason, it could be a family member who's feeling jealous, or it could be an ex as well. Take this however resonates. Now, typically, the Queen of Wands is very loving, right? Nothing against the Queen of Wands, but in the context of this reading, whoever you're dealing with, um, you don't want to get to the bad side of this person, even if you didn't do anything per se, but it could be their jealousy. Somebody is jealous that the attention is not theirs anymore. You're moving on with somebody new. Uh, they feel like they're the last person to know. Take this out of a resonates. And so to end this reading here, Aquarius, we are going to be pulling an advice card. This is the wisdom of the Oracle deck. What is your advice for my beautiful Aquarius at this time, please? We have chop wood. If, if you are also just recently married, this could also apply for you. If there's like an in-law, that could be the jealous type. Um, you may just be meeting family members of your person or, or them meeting your family members and, and they're giving you a hard time or somebody is, is saying hurtful things, malicious things, whatever the case may be. Let me read what this advice card is saying. But I feel like this goes for you and the person that you're dealing with, okay? Number 42 could also be significant. So it says here, being grounded in everyday experience and humility relationship message nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won passionate or even obviously meaningful relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are the center of awareness that is perfect now hold hands wash dishes make a fire read a book share a meal say nothing stare into space pick up socks tell a dumb joke and leave space to breathe the work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. Wow. So that is a very beautiful message from spirit to remain humble and aware of the present and not be distracted by all the noise in your environment. So I hope that these messages resonate for you. Uh, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. I'm sending all love and light and namaste.